friends. I'm so excited for our lesson today and I hope you are too. We are going to work on some teen numbers and those are really big numbers. And to work on teen numbers, you have to be a math magician. So let's pretend that we are Harry Potter right now. So get out your magic wand and say terrific. Now we'll need to use that later on when we celebrate our success criteria. Don't forget our magic wand. Okay, now we are going to review. I'm going to show you some pictures really fast. And you're going to have to count them even faster and tell me how many there are. This is called subitizing. Are you ready? Let's go. One. Good job. How many? Two. How many? Four. Good job. Three. You can do it. Oh, wow. Five. Awesome. Oh gosh, this one's tough. You did it. Five. One. Good tubitizing. How many? Two. Great job. Three. Oh my gosh. Keep going. How many? Four. Wow. Kiss your brain for working so hard. Awesome. Now let's go over our success criteria. Our success criteria today is I can use objects or drawings to decompose. That means to take apart numbers 11 through 19. Those are our special team numbers. Let's say it together now. I can use objects or drawings to decompose, take apart, numbers 11 through 19, those teen numbers. If you're ready to go, give me a big toot toot. Awesome, I'll see you soon. We're gonna work on our success criteria, which is I can use objects or drawings to decompose. Remember that means take apart numbers 11 to 19. Those are very important teen numbers. So to do that today, we're gonna need a 10 frame and I just drew mine on a piece of construction paper and I left room for um, the ones that will be left over when we build our, um, take, excuse me, take apart our teen numbers. And I'm using some ones counters, but you can use any type of counters. And I have a whiteboard and a marker and an eraser. All right, let's get started. Let's start decomposing our first teen number. Let's start with the number 12. Now, the 12 is still a really important number and it has tens and ones, even though we don't say teen when we say 12. Okay, so we're gonna count out 12 counters and we're and then we're going to use the 10 frame to decompose it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now I'm going to take it apart by first filling up our tens frame with the counters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm breaking it apart. So now I know my 10 frame is full because there's one counter in each square and I know I have 10. So here's my one group of 10. Now I'm going to further break it apart and I have my one group of 10 now and I have two ones left over. So I have one group of 10 and two ones to make the number 12. Let's write that in an equation so that we can see. 10 plus 2 equals 12. So there's our group of 10 plus the two ones left over equals 12, our teen number that we were working on. Great job. Let's keep decomposing. Let's move on and work on the number 14. So we're going to count out 14 counters again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we have 14 counters. Now we're going to decompose it by first um, filling up our tenth frame. Now how many are we going to need to fill up this tenth frame? You're right, 10. So I don't even need to count this time because I know that 10 are going to fill up my tenth frame. So here I have 10. Here's one group of 10. Now I'm going to have my ones that are left over and I'm going to count those. One, two, three, four. So I have one group of 10 and four ones. Let's write that into an equation. We have one group of 10, 10 plus four ones equals 14. Awesome job. All right, let's keep working and we're gonna build a big number this time. We're gonna build 17. That's a pretty big teen number. So let's count out 17 counters. One, two, three, four, five, 
6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Wow. So we're going to fill up our tenths frame. Now, how many counters is it going to take to fill up our tenths frame? You're right, 10. And I'm not even going to count. I tried to, but I don't need to. I know if I fill up my tenths frame, I'm going to have 10 counters. So here, I have a 10, okay? So now let's look count out our extra ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so I have one group of 10 and 7 ones. So let's write that into an equation. 10 plus 7 equals 17. 1, 10 plus 7 ones equals 17. Wow, great job. Wow, you are math wizards. You decompose those teen numbers with ease. Are you ready to celebrate? Now remember, we were wizards today. So get out your uh, magic wand and say, pew, pew, pew. you're terrific. And you are terrific. Thanks for learning with me, friends.